Hello, grade two. Today we will start our fourth quarter in science with unit nine, changes in matter. Lesson one, what is matter? Let's get started. If you have a look here in this picture, you will find two girls sitting in the living room and there are a lot of things around them. There are some box, a clock, a picture, another one here, window, some toys, the floor, the sofa, and many other things, even the air which they breathe. And as we studied before that, everything around us is called matter. Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. This girl takes up space. She's sitting here. You cannot put anything in while she is sitting. You cannot put anything else to take the same space and she has mass what is the meaning of the word mass mass means the amount of matter in an object the amount of matter here in a book how much matter does it have this means mass the amount of matter here in this toy anything any matter has mass which means the amount of matter in this object matter has some properties what is the meaning of the word property a property is one part of what something is like how does it look like how can i describe it what can i observe or measure for this object this is the meaning of the word property let's have a look here we can see a car and we said it's matter. Some properties of this car is that it is red. Its color is red. It's one property. Another property is that it is smooth. When you touch it, you will feel it is smooth. It is big. You can observe with your eyes, which is one sense, that it is big. Now let's discuss some properties for matter. The first property is size. And size can be big, like this bear, or it can be small, like this bird. So one property of matter is size, which could be big or small. Another property is shape and when you look around yourself you will find things with different shapes. These shapes could be like square, oval, star, round, rectangle, heart or any other shape. So one property of matter is that they have different shapes. Matter can also have different colors. It could be red, blue, yellow, orange, black, pink, purple, brown, any other color. So color is one property of matter. Another property is texture. And texture is a property which means what can an object feels like. What will you feel when you touch something? Will it be hard like these eggs or it will be soft? So texture could be hard or soft. Any matter around us takes one of three states. So there are three states of matter. The first one is soft. Solid is the only state or the only form of matter that has its own shape. It keeps its own shape. It doesn't change. If you have a look here at this picture, we will find many toys. They are different in their properties. They are different in shapes, in colors, in size, in texture. But all of them are having the same state. All of them are solid. They keep their own shape 
the shape of this teddy bear does not change from being here or if you put it on your bed it will not change if you put it in a bag or you let it on a chair so any solid matter keeps its own shape the shape of a solid matter is the same the second state of matter is a liquid a liquid doesn't have a shape it takes the shape of its container what is the meaning of a container container is something in which you put the liquid inside like this glass this jar or any other container so a liquid doesn't have its own shape but it takes the shape of its container water is not the only liquid there are others like juice coffee tea oil pepsi shampoo many liquids are there and we can find the volume of the liquid volume means the amount of space that matter takes up how much space does the water takes here this is its volume but the amount of matter inside an object is its mass again there is a difference between mass and volume mass means the amount of matter inside an object but volume means the amount of space it takes up the third state of matter is called gas what is a gas gas is a state of matter that fills all the space of the container it spreads out to fill all the container like these balloons when you start to blow up air inside the balloon the air will keep spreading out till it fills the entire balloon it will fill it completely you cannot see air as a gas but you can see and feel what it does you can feel that it spreads to fill the balloon. You can feel the air moving around you. You can see that it's moving the curtains at home. You can feel when it's pushing or moving your hair while you are running or walking on the street. So you cannot see the air, but you can see and feel what it does. Water is matter and like everything around us, it takes three states water as matter takes three states the first state is solid when it is ice it's solid when you put water in the freezer it changes to be ice and in this state it has its own shape so it's solid the second state of water is liquid like when you drink it it doesn't have its own shape in this state and it takes the shape of its container like it takes the shape of this glass here the third state of water is gas and in this case we call it water vapor water vapor is flying out of this pot it's clear here and like all gases water vapor spreads out to fill all the space in its container it's spreading and moving freely let's summarize what we said today we said that everything around us is matter and it must have mass and take up space and there are three states of matter these states are solid and solid is the only state of matter that keeps its own shape the second one is a liquid which takes the shape of its container and the third one is a gas which spreads out to fill all the container that's all for today grade two thank you for listening